intuitive image showing the pituitary gland, the stalk, the hypothalamus, internal carotids. is the sagittal image showing pituitary stalk, pituitary, and we will move on to the dynamic mark, dynamic contrast mark. The first page shows nothing. Then you go ahead, you see the enhancement of a pituitary stalk, and then you again go forward. The next image is taken enhancement of pituitary stalk and the upper part. You see how the lower half is lagging behind. Uh, it's mostly because it's microadenoma, which is not taking the contrast, and so the lower half is still lagging behind. The upper part and stalk has got the contrast. And, and in the end of it, almost all of it is homogeneous, so they all have taken the contrast. Now you are confused whether it was really a microadenoma because all of it is now enhancing uh, till the 6th or 7th skin. What you do now is you call the patient after 20 minutes and you check this. What is this? This is the retainment of enhancement of the contrast, you see, in the lower half of pituitary. Now, I did some cool things with this and we constructed this a 3D generated maps. The lower half is showing a retainment of contrast and you can see it in 3D. This is the axial section of course and you see all of it is a 360 degree rotation and what you see it in in it is this the big 3D image which I have mapped for you. This is a bit of pituitary stalk not enhancing at all, upper part not enhancing but a microadenoma. See the enhancement in the lower part. Compare with it is a enhancement in the actually you are watching. This a big old enhancement. You see this was the enhancement in whole pituitary and the stalk that's not case here it is just enhancement of a lower half of the tray and not the upper one yeah so there it was microdidoma very beautifully portrayed <laughs> by the color maps and see you then little radiologist signing out